Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you're making your background for this particular animation for the cliff jump is you need to have a cliff that your character can jump. Now, I want to put these arrows here as a reference in this guide we'll talk about in a minute, but you're going to have plenty of space up and down so that your character could be taller and has room to jump. So there's actually room for jumping. And then I want there to be space here in between. The size of this background is 1280. You can see it down here at the bottom by 720. So to make that size, you can always go to image, resize, and then you can resize your canvas to be 1280 by 720 if you want it to match what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna turn those arrows off. The two things that I wanna make sure that you have for this project are that you're gonna save this twice you're gonna we're making a cheat basically for pivot and we're gonna be adding a guide so that we can have a smooth um uh jump and that 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 arc is part of what like that could be for anything if you're throwing a football or you were uh firing a bow from a long distance you would set a size so to add the guide all i did was i added a new layer on top of the background i already made I have another tutorial on how to make cliff jump background, so you can look that up. But to add the guide, I simply uh, created a new layer. And then on that layer, I select the layer. I get the line tool. And I suggest getting a thick line that is a pretty obnoxious color that's different than what you're going to be using. Um, this actually has an arrow on it. I'm going to take the arrow off, but you can do that if you want. Um, I'm going to create this line. Oh, I like that rounded line. Sure, why not? I'm going to take that line and I'm going to set it so it's an even arc. And I'm going to think about where is my stick figure going to be? Where's his body going to be? The middle of his body. So he's probably about this tall. His orange dot will be right about here. And then you decide where do you want your character to land? What are you going to do in your animation? Are they going to jump over and they're going to fall in the lava? Are they going to jump and just barely make it? I'm going to make mine just barely make it. And I'm going to make an arc that looks smooth and lands right here. Now, if you want them to jump up really high and then come down, you would take the arc up higher like this, but you wanna make sure that it is a smooth looking arc, that it doesn't do weird bends like this, okay? You want it to do like kind of a smooth arc and I'm gonna have them land like right there, like right on the edge. And then I'm gonna turn that layer on and off. And here's how you save it. Saving for this is very simple. First, we're gonna save one with the arc in it to use in Pivot. So I go to File, Save As. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to call this cliff jump with arc. And I'm going to click save. And I'm going to change this to a PNG. Cliff jump with arc PNG. And I'm going to click save. Now I'm going to click on flatten. Now that's going to change my layers away, but I'm going to just hit control Z. But I've already saved my cliff jump before, so I can always get back to my layers. But I'm going to hit control Z. And I got my layers back and now I'm going to save it again. This time I'm going to turn the guide off. File, save as, and cliff jump with arc. And I'm going to make this a PNG. Cliff jump just like it is. There's my cliff jump. Okay. Get rid of the word with arc and then click save. And say okay and flatten. And now I have my two backgrounds. And the way to double check is go into your uh, downloads, make sure that you saved it where you thought you were saving it. And you should be able to click on them and they should open up in one of the programs on your computer and you should be able to see what it is you're seeing. Okay, all right, that's how you do your background.